Well, hello friends, this is Bruce Kahn again, uh, talking to you in early March still from the Caribbean. And now I'm in the uh, wonderful city of St. John's. St. John's is the capital city of the nation of Antigua and Barbuda, and it is on the island here of Antigua. A lovely city with lots of uh, lovely flower gardens and so forth, as you can see in the churchyard behind me. But it also has, as you can see as I turn around, bustling streets full of lots of uh, tourism as well as a bustling markets. So it's a very vibrant city and a lovely place to be, literally a paradise on earth. So what I'm doing here is we're looking, of course, for urban mosquitoes, synanthropic mosquitoes that love people and love cities, and as a result, unfortunately, can carry very terrible diseases. Uh, to people. Uh, the good news is we've been searching quite a bit here and we have found nothing today and it seems like the people here are doing a very good job of controlling mosquito populations, primarily by controlling the populations of one species, Aedes aegypti, a container breeder that likes to uh, lay its eggs in very small places in urban settings. But the people here have done a great job of keeping the streets clean. You'll notice there's no litter anywhere around so there are no little uh, discarded cups or cans for water to uh, stay in and allow for breeding of these mosquitoes. Uh, they keep the flower pots, another common breeding place for the mosquitoes. They keep them uh, drained with uh, holes in the bottom and so forth, even tires that they leave out for uh, various decorative reasons for uh, flower uh, planting and so forth. Uh, they keep those very well drained. So they've done a good job. They learned, I think, the hard way. Uh, in the last century, there were major outbreaks of even malaria on more rural parts of the island. Malaria, of course, is spread by a very different kind of mosquito, not an urban mosquito, but a more rural mosquito that lives and breeds in swamps and marshes and so forth, the Anopheles mosquito. But here in the city, they're doing a good job of keeping those down. And yet, even in recent years, eight years ago, they had an outbreak of Zika virus, as did many of the places in the Caribbean. Uh, this came up on us quickly because the uh, disease uh, Zika virus was brought in uh, accidentally from Africa and uh, established throughout the Americas and it took a lot of us uh, through all of our countries working together, even the United States, to get rid of that. Uh, also, even more recently in 2019, there was an outbreak of dengue virus spread by the 80s mosquitoes here in the city. Uh, there was one human death associated with that and many, many illnesses. That though has been also brought under control and for now we're seeing uh, no mosquito populations here in the city, and we're seeing uh, a good situation arising from that. And of course, that's why we're here, to try to advise on how to keep that situation under uh, good circumstances. So, I'm going to go back to work now, but uh, we'll talk to you later. And in the meantime, stay safe, stay healthy, take care.